So, in a storm in for Greeny for, I'm pretty sure, the most challenging segment of the show. <laughs> given it's what not we bad just this time. Saw. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> RC back to explain his tweets. NBA Finals <laughs> edition. Okay. Kavon Looney is definitely Kendrick Perkins' little cousin. I'm convinced. Down to the running form. <laughs> RC, explain. I... I was watching Kevon Looney at the free throw line, and I was like, God, Lee, he looks like Perk. And no, he doesn't have the beard, and he hasn't filled out quite like Perk has in his later years of life, but he looks just like him. And then he started jogging down the court, and I was like, oh my gosh, that gotta be Perk's little cousin. They at least train together. They from the same city or something because they look exactly alike. They play alike. They, somebody did tweet me that he shoots better free throws than Perk, and that oh, is nice. true. Oh, nice. All right, how about this one? Explain this. <laughs> Why would Tice back up when Steph came off the screen? The man out here shooting like Doc Holliday in Tombstone. And he's sitting back like his Huckleberry. Oh, please, RC. Please first off, explain. First, listen, first off, we all know Doc Holliday was a bad boy. He had some type of disease that was finna kill him, and he was shooting people behind his back. That's who Steph Curry was in the first quarter last night, and Daniel Tice is backing up off of him, letting this dude shoot. He is putting on for light-skinned men all around the world. Drake right now is making a new song about it, and you gonna back up off of Steph Curry in that moment? They fixed it. They got it together in the second half, but at that point, I was like, Daniel Tice don't need to play more if he's backing off a screen when Steph Curry already hit five threes in the first quarter. All right, let's see. We had Tombstone there. We had Drake. You know, it was all kind of like a beautiful <laughs> mind here. Okay, so here's the final one. Uh, you said it's one thing for Steph to be able to shoot the rock, turn around before it hits the net. Man, what a feeling it must be to pass your splash, brother, and be half court before it goes through. Did you see that? Listen, he threw the ball to Clay and started turning around right away. Somebody need to take a picture of that, and that is like the shooting version of D-Wade throwing the ball up and LeBron dunking it and D-Wade running off like this. So that, that is, you know what? That's a trust fall, Hannah. That's a trust fall. Steph Curry could stand at the top of the arena and fall into Clay Thompson's arms because he know when his splash brother get the rock and nobody around him and those feet are set, it is hitting the bottom of the net. Now, it was early in the game and they were feeling good. We didn't have much of this happening late in the game, but at that point, I thought Golden State was going to win it. Jason Tatum was shooting the ball off the side of the backboard. Clay Thompson hitting threes. Steph Curry hitting threes. Otto Porter came in and hit threes. It's a great picture. Too bad it yes, won't be did. a picture for the win. And that's why we're talking about Jason Tatum's sport coat and not Steph Curry and Klay Thompson's great shooting. Oh, all right. VC, what'd you think about that play? <laughs> I mean, that's just what they do. And that's like he said, that's called confidence. That's just believing in your guy. And they've been around long enough. He knows if Klay has the ball lined up in the scenes, you see it. Oh, one, two step. Yeah, it, what, what are we looking at here? Buckets. And and you can see it, it's, it's vice versa. <laughs> when Klay throws the ball to Steph and he's somewhat wide open, Look at that. He just run down the court and he's just listening for the crowd. That's when he knows he made it. Man, you can't, can't watch that enough. The only thing I wish he had done, if you watch it, like it, Steph, like he starts jogging and he did just sort of give it a glance. And he just should have just kept running. <laughs> straight on. Never even looked back. Right? right? You can see as he gets right, to right, half court, right. right about there, he glances right. back. Right there, yeah, yeah. Right? Just right. gave him a little look. Just had to be sure. But I feel, man, if anybody <laughs> ever threw me the ball like that in a game and just started running back like yet. that on defense, it's a good feeling. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.